Hello and welcome back. Uh, I'm back on Project Cars 2 today. Uh, it's been a little while, but the Spirit of Le Mans pack has been launched, which makes sense of the race coming up, uh, which is why Gran Turismo have recently added Le Mans cars and the track. So Le Mans was already in Project Cars 2, but they've added the classic version, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, first, let's have a quick look at the cars. So we've got Audi R18s, which we did have one from 2014, but we've now got the 2016 cars. Uh, the Fuji version and the Le Mans version, which have slightly different fronts if you look closely there, but if we... Uh, no. Sorry. I was trying to go on showroom. There we go. Look at that. I take it there's only, yeah, the one livery and the Le Mans version, the version everybody wants to drive probably. Oop. Let's open up showroom again, have a proper look at that. It does look good, nice to have some newer cars in here. So I'll have to take these for a drive at some point, but for today it's probably more interesting for me and for you watching if I take, uh, do a little race on the new circuit, or the, the old circuit, which is the new circuit to the game. The new circuit was already on here, but you, you know what I mean. Uh, so none of these are new. I think it's Audis, Ferraris and Porsches, as far as I know. It's annoying because the little green tab in the corner that lets you know it's a new car still hasn't gone away from the last pack. So we've got two versions of the 512M. Oh no, 512M and 512S, sorry. Vintage Prototype A, so it might be quite good to take one of those for a quick race uh, around Le Mans. I'm not sure which one actually raced there or whether they both did. I think that's the more iconic one, I recognise the back of that more than the funny little fins on the other one. Do we have a classic Ford GT on here? Ah, we do. I was wondering. I'm going to have to take that for a spin around there at some point. Is that the same class? Ah, uh, that's prototype B. Prototype A is even faster. Oh, that's going to be a handful. I think we'll take that though, but... Should we have a quick showroom tour of it? Look at how much you can see of the engine and exhaust back there. That is very nice. What liveries do we have? Lots of red ones. Ooh, Sonico one. Green wheels. Is that actually a thing? Quite tempted by one of the yellow ones, actually. Uh, but we'll come back to that in a minute, because there are also some new Porsches. Scroll down a bit. So we've got the 917 LH. Uh, we did have the 917K, but that's now been added. Which is very nice. And we've also got the 919 Hybrid, so another 2016 car to go with the, the Audi. And actually, that reminds me, I think, yes. There is also an LMP1 Toyota, so we've got three different manufacturers of LMP1 car from 2016 now, so we did have the 2014 ones, but now we've got a new class, 2016, so it'll be fun to take some of those around the newer version of Le Mans with the chicanes. But for now, I think we'll jump into that Ferrari. Was it that one? Hang on, no, I don't want that livery. My bad. I kind of want a yellow one. Although those ones with the blue wheels. I think I'll go with that. And other way. More vintage. There we go. Oh, opponent settings. 31 opponents. 
We'll leave them 100 on ace, leave the aggression at 75. Uh, we'll go same class, then we'll get some of those Porsches out on track as well. Um, how many laps? 50 minutes, I think not. Nine. Should go. Let's go one. It's only a first look video. I'll do some proper drives in some of the other cars at another time. Clear weather. Practice off. Qualifying off. Uh, we're going to start in a random place. How do we do that? Rolling start. Yep. How do I find where I'm actually starting? Presumably it's random unless you tell it not to be. Or do we just start from the back? I don't actually know, but... Shall we start? So obviously I'm going to be using paddle shifters here. Uh, I think this car... Well, I'm pretty sure this car would have a proper manual. But let's not worry about that. The newer cars obviously have paddle shifter... Uh, shifters. But yeah, I'll test some of those out around the... the the current version of Le Mans at some point. But this is well this will be my first time driving the vintage track actually, so <laughs> if I'm a bit slow in places that'll be why. Uh but the the overall track's similar. There's just no chicanes on the straight a lot of it's slightly straighter, there's kind of less sharp corners and stuff. Uh although the corner at the end of the Molsan straight is very sharp, I think. There's kind of a nice gentle curve running up to it where you can brake normally in the on the new track, but this one it's just it's there. So I don't know my braking points either, but uh, let's just check. Driving assists off. No, I think authentic. No, because then it puts them on Well, authentic it is. I'll just have whatever the car's got. So it's all 917s. Apart from me? Is that right? How do we get over to... Oh well, here we go. Oh good, we're starting. We're starting right in the middle and into a chicane already. Oh, somebody's died, and I've just realised my steering... Oh, that's, that's awful, there's people dying all over the place. My steering is still set up for an F1 car. <laughs> so I was having to play around with that before. No, maybe it's not. It's not, I lied. Uh, Well, how are you supposed to start when they're all driving like that? I mean, look. I think we've lost a wheel. <coughs> Only about four cars are still in the wreck. That is just ridiculous. The AI on here. I mean, I thought they were improved over Project Cars 1. They're supposed to be. Now please everybody, okay, okay, everybody survive this time please, that's better, without some kind of bug or glitch, anyway, our car is now screaming down here, oh, lots of wobble from the wheel there, oh god, whoa, 
once we came over that crest, just nothing I could do there. I'll keep going, the damage isn't too bad. Take one of them on the inside. And try to. No, that car in front's in the way. Let's get some of that beautiful slipstream. Whoa! Yeah, wheel really doesn't like the mole sand straight on the new version of the mole. Oh, the old version. Oh, God, the wheel is... I'm going to have to get rid of some of the... Some of the surface feel there. Is it effects? Surface detail. Yeah, we want less of that. Now oh, that's what I'd turn down for F1 cars. I think that might be better. No, the wheel is just bouncing one side to the other. I do not know why. I'm making this very difficult to go in a straight line down the straight though. Come on! What is wrong with this wheel? Oh. I just... You can't drive with it doing that. Right, he's going to dive down the inside. Let's try and survive this time. Bad, bad example. Floor out there, okay, right. Right, don't do that. Right, let's hope because I turned the effects down mid race, maybe that's what got me then. But this time it should. Nope, it's still doing it. Not to crash coming over the crest here. Right, the wheel's just bouncing from side to side. There's nothing you can do about it. Slow car ahead here. Let's go for a move. That was very dodgy. Just shooting down the inside there, overshooting the corner, but. We gained something out of it. Right, I'm just holding onto the wheel, hoping. Nope, 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 don't bounce around. And maybe it's supposed to, maybe the straight is that bad. It can't be that bad, it's just. Oh! Can we just turn surface detail off? Let's just go for five. I don't want to turn it right off. I'm sorry that I keep restarting. It's just impossible to drive down the Molsan Strait like that. I remember that when I drove to LMP1s or LMP2s here. Whoa! Okay, you're going to cut in front. The guy behind is going to give me a nudge. No, it's still doing it. It's just... A... I had to swerve to avoid the car in front. It's just a pro project car's to bug, I guess. The wheel just does this. One way on one. That way, that way, that way, that way, that Oh, I might have to just not do this race. If anybody knows why it's doing that, and what I can do to get rid of it doing that. Please let me know. Is there any of these settings? I honestly don't know what I've done. It's normally absolutely fine. 
raw, immersive, informative. Yeah, I could just turn it all down a bit. Ah! Tone. Tone is like the effects. Right, let's try. Let's try these both on 25. I hope that's better. Otherwise, you're going to see me going around here a lot of times today. Well, going around the first section. Like lunch from the car behind me. Okay, there's not enough force feedback there. There's barely anything. Okay, he's just going to ram me, but there wasn't enough force feedback. Overall force feedback now. How strongly you feel it yet? Those I'm happy with. Oh, hang on. Wait. That's fine. Yeah, when when you finally get the settings right, somebody in front decides to kill you. Right. This will be a full lap this time. But I can't go faster. There's a car in front, you idiot behind. That was a bit bad. Too much power out of the corner. Oh, that's much better. The wheel's not fighting me anymore. Go past this guy. Oh! We clipped the barrier. Alright, we're not going past that guy. Slight like lock up into the corner. Slow car in front. not dive down the inside too much here at this time. Again, just on the power a bit too hard though, which is why I slid slightly into that barrier. The wheel's still jolting a little bit, but nowhere near as bad. So we fly down the straight. Are we going to hit 200? There we go. Endless, endless power. This still getting little twitches from the bumps on the road, but it's not not moving about the whole way down the straight. Oh, he's got slipstream. Or he's got a tune on his car. Mine's entirely as it was given to me. He's got a high speed setup with the wing there. Right next to it. Oh no! That was me watching that car in front, thinking, oh, he's about to lose it there. I need to see that flip again. Here we are, going down the straight. Just need to lift off a bit more there, I guess. I just kept my foot flat. And there was me thinking I was going to survive. Where am I? There I am. <laughs> okay, I got hit by somebody. I'm going to slow down that point next time. I know, I know, this is like my five millionth attempt on this. Uh, you're a terrible driver. I know. I finally want to get it right. Right, don't bump me this time. I'm right behind the car in front. Ooh, nice and gentle on the throttle. No spinning there. A 
getting too hot into that one. Blocks up a bit. I'm surprised I'm gaining so many places when they're on a hundred or ace difficulty here. I say so many, I'm still on 22nd out of 30. But I have overtaken a few cars here. He's braking on the straight, interesting. I'm going to get stuck behind these yellow cars here though. Let's just lift off and pull back in here. It's amazing there aren't more crashes down here in real life. I mean, there's always some kind of incident somewhere. But I suppose it's not normally 30. 217 mile per hour Ferraris flying down here at once. Whoa! Big twitch from the wheel there. Had to back right out of that. Right, here we are coming up on the corner. Don't clip the grass here. Oh! There's cars everywhere. There was nowhere I could go. Luckily, it's not damaged me too badly, and I've kept going. First here, locking up slightly, the car in front slowing down a bit too much. And away we go. Now I'm not looking for a win or anything here, just survive a lap. Show you what it's like to drive one of these cars against uh, ace level AI. Of course, if you do want to win, just turn the difficulty down a bit from Ace. Okay, what's going on here? We've got half a Porsche in front of us now. Porsche 458 and a half, I guess. This is half a 917. Is that right? Oh! I'm just going to squeeze us there. And um, that yellow Ferrari's gone for a move. Can't overtake the Porsche through the Porsche curves. Oh, we're past him. There's a bit of contact there, but we're going to pass him eventually. Half his car was missing. Lock up into the chicane net. There's only one chicane where there's now two. Just gave it too much power there. Are we on the helmet? Are we on? Well, never mind. That's an interesting view. Is that roof cam? Oh, sorry. That noise from behind the car. Ready? Spitting flames. Imagine if you're watching this from the side, it's ah, straight past. Wow. And now we've just got LMP1 hybrids. Well, we're not. We've got GTE cars as well. But oh wow! 
Anyway, that's the Project Cars 2 Le Mans Spirit of Le Mans pack. Which is actually free. I don't know if that's because I've got the season pass or what. But do check out the pack. If you do have this game, it's definitely worth getting it. Just for this circuit, actually. Okay, a bit wider. <laughs> Just do that on the cooldown. Huh? Anyway, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll be back on here soon to test out some of the other cars from the pack. Uh, probably in similar situations. One lap races around here. Uh, obviously, the modern track of it's a modern car, and this track of it's an older car. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like if you have enjoyed the video. Uh, <laughs> After all my awful crashing, that bit probably wasn't too interesting to watch, but anyway. Eventually we did survive a lap, despite people doing things like that all over the place. But I'll leave it there. Like if you did enjoy the video, and subscribe to see more. Because, like I say, I will be back on here, so I'll start the other cars very soon.